check this out. This is Will Benny Two Fist. Thank you, nice little guitar.com. How are you doing? Right on. Now check this out, man. Uh, I'm from Texas, man. So there's a lot of really cool stuff that comes from that that region. As far as oh, music, we got a great, great idea. It's basically we're just using um, an A minor seven chord, and we're using a couple of perfect fourths, so a D perfect fourth, and an A perfect fourth, and uh, and it breathes. That this whole idea is not like you know we're not whizzing through it. And you cats that just got your guitar and you figured out a few chords, I'm gonna show you another one, a couple more, and show you how to get in that little bluesy spirit. Well, if you'd like a free video lesson and a free ebook that is not on YouTube, click on that little button right below and we'll send it out to you, man. You'll have some good information to getting down. Nextlevelguitar.com. Let me see the chords A minor seven. <laughs> Now here's a perfect force. Um, what I'm doing there is it's just the uh, the uh, D and the G, and then the A and the D. See, perfect fourth. So together, I'll show it to you very quickly because like you can um, add all kinds of things just using that that A, uh, a minor seven. So is, without further ado, I uh, I come down and I I kind of lightly. Uh, mute the first part of the chord, which is uh, basically uh, is the first three notes. And then the next part is a chunk, and it is, is I'm uh, coming up on the, the B and the E. So, got a little bit of delay on it. It's a little bit of slap back, just to kind of give it a, a little more of a open feeling. So, and then, so the, the B and E right there. So, open. using this A minor pentatonic scale. It looks like this. So, knowing that, so like, you know, you get that first part. And what that was is like, uh, I am on the, uh, the G, and I'm on the seventh fret, so 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 uh, going from the seventh on the G to the the fifth, pull off and then bend slightly. Maybe use a little vibrato on that when you come down on the uh, the D string on the seventh fret, and then the resolve it. Go back to that fifth fret on the G string and give it a little, you know, a little, eh, you know. So, jerk the chain. Jerk the chain, baby. Now, next part. So, we're going from the fifth fret of the, uh, the, of the D string. Carrying on to the seventh. Now the fifth fret of the uh, the G string. Now the next part I am pulling off from the seventh to the fifth of the D string, and then resolving on the uh, seventh fret of the A. So well, all that was was. I'm on the G string and on the seventh fret, and I'm bending up on a half fret, and I'm pulling off to the uh, the fifth fret on the G string. All that was okay on the uh, eighth fret of the B string. I'm bending up a whole step right here on the uh, the eighth fret. Now when you add like just a little bit of delay, you know, a little bit of slap back on that, and you just you can kind of like uh, for you songwriters, and I know there's a whole lot of y'all, the time and space between the licks, even with the licks, because it's not so fast and crazy, you can develop your own 
hip blues tune. It could be everything from getting your lunch stolen by some bully or your girl left you and you happen to be in the third grade. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> stop love that what you do is here is um you're taking my uh two fingers my second and my third and i'm on the d string and i'm on the b string and i'm on the fifth fret of both of these so so what i do is this i'm picking the d string on the fifth on the fifth fret and then i, I slide up to the, the seventh and when I, when I when i reach the seventh fret, I use my a little bit of hybrid peaking. I use uh, my uh, middle finger here and resolve that on the sub. So it goes and slide the entire uh, phrase back to the fifth fret. So. I'm on the G string. Using a little bit of vibrato. And I resolve here on the fifth fret of the G of the E string. So So next time, I want you to really take your time with that and like uh, you really develop a waltz. If you have happen to have any family members or friends that play other instruments, this is a real easy one to get into the groove with, especially if you get a drummer. Use this as a jump off scale, I mean as a jump off idea. Uh, use the pentatonic, basically uh, just tidbits, just a little bit here and there to create your own sonic temple of inspiration. You know, I'm talking like two, three notes at a time. And like I said, in different keys, man, you come up with all different kinds of different ideas. Until next time, it's been Will Billy Toothless with the next level guitar.com and check this out. It's well over a thousand videos, man. 1,120 and growing. 1,120. If you know anybody that has 1,120 of anything, it's usually called a library. Great information, all different types of styles all different types of levels. If you happen to just get a guitar, you got you covered. If you've been playing for three, five years, got you covered. If you're a lifer, been playing forever and want to check out some new different things, we got you covered. Till next time, it's been Will Billy, Two Fist McGee with NextLevelGuitar.com.